Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, June the 25th. We're a very bullish day today and we can see that the candle is green which means that the market was bullish and it's a very large bodied candle which means that the bulls have made a very strong net gain for the day. Now the market's also opened down near its low and closed up near its high which means that the bulls have closed the market in control and they're very strongly committed. Also we have a continuation of the first time frame uptrend that started at the previous candle. We still have a continuation of the higher highs and higher lows. So a very very strongly bullish day today. Now the market is trading up towards this area of resistance. We need to note how the market behaves around this zone and the zone now extends from this previous swing high all the way up to this swing high so a very large range of resistance now. As we noted a few weeks ago that if the market can break out conventionally above this zone of resistance then it, the market should trade up to around the 1000 level uh, but it has a lot of work to do before that happens. Potentially the market may trade up into this area and then sell off and find support either at the top of the cloud or at the bottom of this previous support area of the descending triangle. But because this uh, um, first time frame uptrend is still in force, we have to um, uh, move with that trend and that trend is up. So we have a saying in technical analysis that the trend is in force until we have evidence otherwise. So that um, propensity will be for the market to trend up. Now looking at our Ichimoku indicators, we're trading above the cloud or the Kumo, which means that the market is, uh, still has a positive bias. We're now trading above both the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen, uh, which means that the market is positive uh, only slightly, though we've only just crossed above these levels. Um, but interestingly, the Kijun Sen is sideways, and it has been for quite some time. And as we uh, said earlier, that when the Kijunsen moves sideways, price action is attracted back to it. We can see here that the market is trending up very strongly, and the price action came back to it, and it's been hovering around that area. Then we had uh, some disequilibrium when we moved to the downside below that area, and now we've been attracted back towards the straight Kijunsen. So always remember that a flat Kijunsen is an attractive price action. It means that the market will move back to equilibrium, and that's what we're seeing. We've also seen that the uh, Tenkinson was pointing down strongly um, and that the market had some strong downside momentum and we know that this uh, Tenkinson, when it uh, is pointing down strongly, it means that the market will uh, eventually attract the price action back towards it as well and it will act as an area of support or resistance. So here, potentially, it could act as an area of, uh, of resistance and the market could potentially sell off. Although, looking at the type of candle that we have, there really aren't any signs that that will happen. And the fact that we've closed up above the uh, tank and sin partially negates that, um, that scenario. Not impossible, but um, there's every chance that the current uh, market high will be taken out and the market will trend up to this zone.